Oh my, it's that rusty junkyard Brutus. Going. Up. Please wait, Cockpit. I'm sorry. It was just a loose bolt. Okay. At the heart of our simple little animation was uh, the robot avatar walking, interacting, and then walking off in another direction. And uh, there are probably a lot of ways you can do this, but I chose to use a path. And I have him walk, I have him interact, and then I have him walk off in another direction using the path to help constrain him to a particular area. So let's see how we did that. What we want to do is create a motion path so our actor can walk along, interact, move along to whatever. Uh, so let's do that. Let's create an animation path by hitting the create path. And we'll put down these control points. You can add and delete control points pretty much at any time. I'm going to hold down the alt key and that'll let you move around. Uh, so don't worry about putting down either too many or too few. You can always add or delete and adjust the control points. Hitting escape lets you end and you can see we've got a, a path now. Uh, so let's link our avatar and this could be any standard avatar. I happen to have a robot character I built here but it could be any avatar. So we want to pick a path by right clicking on the avatar pick path and pick the path control point there at the beginning. And uh, as we said, we want him to uh, walk along there for a little while. So let's just slide the slider down a little bit. And we're going to want him to uh, probably stop at this control point. So let's pick that control point right there in the path. Okay, he comes there. And then he's going to interact, and then he's going to move on down the path to... Uh, Let's say the end, and so let's pick the path control point there. Now, as you can see, he uh, follows the path, uh, but not in the right direction. So let's look and see if there is a button, and there is. It says follow path, and uh, okay, that didn't seem to work. Uh, let's slide him again here. He follows, yeah, he does. He does a turn, but he's not looking in the right direction. So that's called the axis. Follow axis. And let's, uh, you can go through all these, but I found that minus y axis seems to work fine. And now if we slide, he's following uh, pretty good the path, but not doing anything. Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, putting an animation clip in. So let's find a motion clip, and I'm going to use a tray. And a tray seems to have a few... Uh, animation clips we can use. Move, walk. We've got walk backward, walk backward end, walk backward start, walk forward. That sounds about right. Walk forward start, walk forward end. So uh, here we go. Let's do walk forward start. Add that clip to our character. He starts to move. Let's take a look at our motion. Okay, we've added a clip there. And let's have him now continue the walk forward. So we'll click that. We probably want it to repeat, so uh, make sure the repeat command is on in your timeline. And then we'll just drag this a few times uh, until he gets close to our uh, end point. And he's not quite there, so let's do that. Okay, now let's also look at our constrain uh, layer in our timeline. And notice we have a constrain point here, and there's a constraint point at the beginning, and there should be one at the end. Yes, there we go. So uh, he walks along. Uh, he slides. Let's go ahead and do that. And maybe walks too far. So once again, by adjusting our clips and adjusting this point, we can get him, hopefully, to move correctly, not too much foot sliding, and then stop where he wanted to stop. Now, of course, he's not stopping. So let's right click on this point, copy it, and then paste it. And now he's going to stop there. And we can now add an animation there for as long as we want because we can adjust this 
position point right here in our path. And we can adjust the end point too. So uh, we can have him interact as long as he wants. So let's add a little animation for him to do. Let's go to Motion Puppet. And uh, he's going to talk, let's say. And we can preview that by hitting the space bar. And he talks. And uh, OK, that might work. So let's hit the Record button and hit the space bar. And we can have him talk as long as we want him to, long or short, either way. Let's just stop it there. OK, so now we have a new clip. And we can adjust the end, the easing in of that clip, obviously. And uh, where he stop? He slides a little bit there. So by adjusting this point, yeah, we can uh, tweak it the other way. He can move pretty much smoothly to that end point. So adjusting your animation clip and your path constraint point, uh, you can make him stop where you want him to stop. He can now interact, do what you need to do, and then move on. So let's go down here. Let's slide this path constraint point down. And now he starts moving. So let's add our walk animation. Walk forward. Uh, we can do the walk start. So let's do walk start. Walk forward start. Okay, and then walk forward right here. And we will repeat that clip with our looping tool as long as we need it. Okay. And there he goes. Walks on. And we can once again adjust this to make him uh, move a little smoother, a little more accurately. And that's just a uh, matter of adjusting these path position points, sliding them where they want to, where you want them, to, so the movement looks good and not uh, sliding. And uh, there we go. Okay. You can tweak uh, the control points themselves, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's say he's turned a little too far one direction. You can go in to the animation path, select that path in your scene manager, and edit path. Click on any particular point, bring up your uh, gizmo, and adjust it so you've got his position a little bit better. See, adjusting this point and adjusting the one in front also will create a different effect as well. So that's all adjustable, and that's the beauty of it. So walks along, and he's going to stop. And then going to move on. Okay, and once again, you can tweak to your heart's desire, get everything just right. So that gives you the basics of creating a path, positioning your character along the path, making him interact at some point, and then moving on to another direction entirely.